So you got yourself a scan gauge too, or perhaps you're thinking about buying one, but you wanna learn a little bit more about it before making that decision. Either way, stick around for this video because we're going to learn about a very powerful, but yet easy to set up feature within the scan gauge too called the X gauge. What's happening guys, it's Manny from Manny Drives and thanks a lot for checking out this video. And we're gonna be doing a follow-up to the Scan Gauge 2 review video that I did earlier. So if you wanna get an overview of what a Scan Gauge 2 is all about, then you might wanna check out this video up top here or stick around to the end. This video is gonna be all about adding a custom gauge to your digital gauge set. So by the end of this video, you're going to know what the X gauge is for, where to find the information to plug into the X gauge, and then we're gonna walk through step-by-step step how to enter the information so that way you can make your own custom gauges for your scan gauge too. To put it simply, the X gauge allows you to manually enter in commands so that way you can make custom digital gauges for your main digital gauge set. For example, you can add vehicle specific gauges to your vehicle, or you can even bring over information that's in your trip computer and add them to your main digital gauge set. In order to answer that question, I'm actually going to scangauge.com. This is the home screen and you're gonna to wanna to go to the support center and then X gauge commands. And you can see here it says OBD2 and J1939 and J1708. The J stuff has nothing to do with us unless you have like a diesel push motor home or a big rig. And that's not the purpose of this video. We're gonna take a look at OBD2. So you can see that we'll scroll down a little bit. You can see that there's vehicle specific tiles. So try to find your vehicle underneath the manufacturer specific tiles that are here. So that way you can add custom gauges. And you can see that there's quite a few choices that are here. My vehicle is a Toyota. I'm gonna to see if there is something for my 2005 Toyota Corolla. So we're gonna search between 2003 and 2007. And you can see here it says between 2003 and 2007, Toyota began rolling out the CAN protocol to their vehicles. So my vehicle is in between two protocols, an ISO protocol and the CAN SF protocol. I didn't know which one it was equipped with. So this is what I did in order to find out. Okay, let's start the car, make sure that it's running while we do this. I'm gonna to go to my home page by pressing this button and you can see that it says more. So I'm gonna press it once and then one more time and you can see that you're in your mode. And what I did was I actually went to change and I searched auto and then forced it in auto and that way the scan gauge 2 can identify the exact protocol for my vehicle. And in this case it's ISO. So now that we know for certain what our protocol is, we're going to search up the commands and add a gauge. But before I go to the ISO page, I just wanna show you, you know, just under Toyota alone, you can see that there's quite a few options here. So for the CAN SF, you can actually get a gauge that will read the transmission temperature if you have an automatic. Check this out, yeah, battery inhaling air temperature. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's go into ISO and I'm going to be looking up for air fuel ratio. I have air fuel ratio bank one sensor one. I click on there. And this is the information that we need right here. This stuff. Okay. Now I'm not going to write this down. I'm not going to take a picture because honestly I have internet on my phone and I'm going to call it up once I'm beside the car and have it running. That way, if this command is not correct, I can go through bank one sensor two and so on and so forth until I find the right ones. Take a look at what your vehicle manufacturer's tile is and see whether or not you can find your make and model and year. See what sort of gauges are available for your car and make note of it. Because I'm on my digital gauge, I'm going to press the home button. I'm gonna press more, more one more time. I'm gonna use these upper buttons to cycle through to X gauge. And then we're gonna press edit. And you can see that it says X gauge here in slot 15. Now, I believe it goes up to 24 or 26 slots. Uh, you can choose any one of them. As long as it's not occupied by something, you can see that there's uh, letters that are there. So I'm gonna pick slot 15. That just sounds good right now. So we're going to press edit. And you can see now that we're on the TXD page. So let's pull up scangauge.com. So now that we're on the scan gauge 
Hamburger.com website. There's the hamburger on the upper right-hand corner. And let's scroll down to X gauge commands. And because we checked out what protocol my vehicle is using, we know that it is the ISO protocol. So let's go to standard OBD2 gauges. Let's go to 2003, 2007. Now we have ISO there, we tap on there and it brings us to the page. I'm actually going to use the AF ratio bank one sensor one. So you can see here that it says TXD. That's the number that we're going to need. And that number is 686 A as an Apple F as in Frank 10124. So we're going to use the plus and minus signs to enter in the numbers. So we're going to go six and then use the arrow to move the cursor over, press eight. Six. Okay, so we double check to make sure that we entered in the correct information. Looks good to me, let's press okay. So now we have RXF and that is 044-145-24 followed by one, two, three, four zeros. Zero, four, four, one, four, five, two, four. And it's one, two, three, four zeros, press okay. This one's easy, you can see down here, it's RXD, so two, eight, two, eight, zero, eight. Press okay. This is the MTH. So the MTH is 05, B as in Bobby, 9008, followed by one, two, three, four, five zeros. Okay, so. So one, two, three, four, five zeros, press okay. So this part is just entering in the name of the gauge. You can put whatever it is. We can put, um, you know, A slash F as it's recommended here, or we could just put air, for example. Um, so A, I, R. There we go. Whatever you want to choose, it's up to you. So press OK. We want to save this and we're going to exit. And to check this, we can go back home. We're going to go to gauges and let's cycle through one of the corners here until we find air. Air, boom. So you can see that it says 14.5 to one ratio. Awesome, the gauge is working. I tell you, you enter one or two more of these and you will be a whiz when it comes to making custom gauges for your scan gauge too. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with somebody you think that might enjoy something like this. And if you're into automotive related content, Take a poke around this channel, and if you like it, maybe you might want to subscribe. My name is Manny from Manny Drive, and I'll see you in the next video.